Hello, Kennesaw Mountain. I'm Brian Jungles. And I'm Cameron Parker. Today is September 12th, 2008, and you're watching Around the Mountain. Brian, our sports this year are absolutely fantastic. I've seen them, and I agree. We're undefeated in football so far, and our cross-country team is dominating. Those kids are booking it. They're running fast. Now let's go to this package. Yeah. Something is happening with the Kennesaw Mountain cross-country team. With their intense training regimens and a new coach, they're hoping to take state by storm. How do you prepare for the cross-country season? A lot of us ran between 300 and 500 miles this summer, and so that helped us a lot getting base mileage so we can begin speed as soon as school started. Kennesaw Mountain has always been known for its exceptional quality in cross country. With numerous newcomers and the new head coach, John Schaefer, we sure expect Kennesaw Mountain to have a new quality of excellence. What is the general feel of the new team? Very young team, a lot of new people, but overall, People are a little tired, but overall they're feeling good. They're, everyone's just wanting to get to the races and just get uh, to the actual competitions. After some practices and workouts and stuff, I actually think the team's coming together a lot better than um, I thought it was, and I think we're actually doing pretty good. Get to the, well, I think we'll get to the state meet this year and um, hopefully make a run at the top five or top ten. With all the time Kennesaw Mountain's cross-country team trains, they sure are determined to give state a run for their money. I'm Connor Lewis, signing off for KMTV. A friendly reminder, my fellow Kennesaw Mountain Mustangs, blackout t-shirt designs are due September 17th at the main link desk. Please have those in on time. Also, your Spirit Bus tickets will go, will go on sale Thursday, September 18th at the main link desk. Strong as they're just purchasing one. The feel on those Spirit Bus is just like a good family bonding experience. It's a good hip hip hooray. During, going, going to the game, by the time you get to the game, you're all Mustanged out, you know? <laughs> Awesome. We have some new guys here at the Mountain on the KMTV team. Eugene and Herbert, all around good guys, I must say. They are. They are just truly good people, like deep down in their soul. And they have a little bit of advice and some life lessons for you. Take a look. Take it away. Eugene, I've uh, I've been thinking about uh, the latest uh, female specimens here at our school, KMHS. Oh yes, I've 
I'm quite, a, uh, they're quite attractive. Yes, they are, and I've uh, been thinking about asking one of them on a date. That's a new step for us. Let's do it. I think we're ready. A girl touched me last week. That's awesome. She slapped me. Do it to me every time. All the redheads said to shred the cello. And I'm jello, baby. Can we use you real quick for an experiment? Excuse me. Oh, um, I'm Eugene. Nice to meet you. Is it that no or yes? Eugene, did you introduce yourself? I did. <laughs> oh, God. So are you guys like going out now oh, or what? I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> Listen, I was uh, <laughs> just wondering if maybe you wanted to go out with me. I, I, I got a pickup line and everything. You want to hear it? Yes. Okay. <sighs> okay. Peace. If you were a pirate, would your parrot be on this shoulder or this shoulder? Eugene, you see that? That's how you know it. That's a player, player style right there. <laughs> my praying mantises. Sincerely, the future Mrs. Gill. Alright. You're gonna put them in a cage and you're gonna give them lots of food. Play with them a little bit. Eh? Um, praying mantises feast feast on crickets, caterpillars, beetles, grasshoppers, other flying mammals. Alright? And this is Matt Gill. <laughs>